we have completed the discussion of a series resonant circuit and parallel resonant circuit in the previous classes and collectively we will take the comparison between the series resonant circuit and parallel resonant circuit in the today's class as you know series resonant circuit is ac circuit containing r l and c in series whereas parallel resonant circuit contains the ac source in which resistance and inductor are connected in series and that combination is connected in parallel with the capacitor c okay that is called as parallel resonant circuit in series resonant circuit there is a frequency at which you can find maximum current the current becomes maximum at a particular frequency called resonant frequency but in parallel resonant circuit the impedance of the circuit becomes maximum at a particular frequency and current becomes minimum note the difference between these two in series resonant circuit you can observe the maximum current at a particular frequency called resonant frequency in parallel resonant circuit we can find the minimum current at a particular frequency called the resonant frequency so at resonant frequency the current becomes minimum in parallel resonant circuit okay so just we will compare these two so com coming to the resonant frequency in the series resonant circuit that is given by fr is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi into square root of lc that is the expression for the resonant frequency and you can observe it depends on only l and c it is independent of the resistance connected the resonant frequency of series resonant circuit is independent of the resistance r it depends only on the value of l and c okay and at this frequency you can find the maximum current and the impedance becomes minimum when current is maximum definitely the impedance of the circuit becomes minimum in case of parallel resonant circuit fr is given by 1 divided by 2 pi into square root of 1 by lc minus r square by l square and one extra term is coming into account with 1 by lc under square root if r is very small what will happen if resistance of the circuit is very small resistance connected in the circuit is very small then definitely the resonant frequency fr becomes equal to 1 divided by 2 pi into square root of lc that is same as the resonant frequency of series resonant circuit but if you find out the resonant frequency very accurately then resistance connected in the circuit also decides the resonant frequency okay if r is finite okay then definitely this resonant frequency depends on the resistance connected in the circuit that is the difference between the resonant frequency in series resonant circuit and parallel resonant circuit and we know that at resonance what happens to the impedance of the circuit and what happens to the current through the circuit at resonance we have to see so coming to the impedance at resonance the impedance of the circuit z will be equal to r in series resonant circuit and that is going to be the minimum value of impedance okay so at resonant frequency the impedance of the circuit becomes minimum and then the impedance becomes z equal to r okay and that is the minimum impedance observed for the circuit and that is observed at resonance on the other hand at resonance the impedance of the circuit becomes maximum in parallel resonant circuit it is the converse case okay that is inverse case so impedance becomes maximum and that maximum value of impedance z will be equal to l divided by c into r and it has the dimensions of the resistance l divided by c into r has the dimensions of the resistance and we call it as impedance okay the resistance of the ac circuit is called as impedance okay it is resistance only but we use the term impedance of the circuit and that is used for ac circuits so that is the maximum impedance observed at resonance corresponding to the parallel resonant circuit and that is the difference between these two then what happens to the current at resonance the current through the circuit becomes maximum in series resonant circuit at resonance 
current becomes a maximum and that maximum value of current is given by i max equal to v naught by r and also at resonance the current will be in phase with voltage and already we have proved that current and voltage will be in phase with each other because impedance will be purely resistive so in case of the resistance definitely current and voltage will be in phase with one another and the maximum value of current is i max equal to v naught by r it depends on only the resistance basically it is v naught by z here z equal to r therefore you will get the maximum current i naught or i max is equal to v naught by r where v naught is the maximum voltage or peak voltage of ac connected in case of parallel resonance circuit at resonance the current becomes minimum and that minimum value of current is given by v not cr by l basically it is v not by z z is l by cr therefore you will get the minimum current equal to v not cr by l and we observe the minimum current at resonance okay and in parallel resonance circuit also we will get the current and voltage will be in phase with one another okay they will be in phase that is true in case of series resonance circuit as well as in parallel resonance circuit also current and voltage will be in phase okay and that is observed in both the cases in series resonance circuit as well as in parallel resonance circuit coming to the applications of series resonance circuit this series resonance circuit is also called as acceptor circuit because it accepts the current of a particular range of frequency particular bandwidth of frequency so therefore it is called as acceptor circuit it accepts certain range of frequency okay it selects certain range of frequency that is the acceptance that is called as selectivity of the circuit therefore it is called as acceptor circuit and because of its property it is used for tuning circuit used in this tuning circuit for selecting a certain range of frequency or selecting certain fixed frequency okay you can tune the resonance circuit to select a certain frequency and resonance can be observed for that particular frequency so that you can tune the value of l and c to select the frequency to be selected okay so the good example of tuning circuit is in radio tuning circuit okay you might have used the amplitude modulated radios where you have to select a certain frequency to set the channel okay particular station if you want to select particular station then that station transmit certain frequency signal you have to tune that frequency at that particular point the resonance occurs it selects that frequency and other frequencies will be attenuated or that will be rejected okay so that is how you can tune the particular frequency signal uh, in case of the radio so that is one of the use of series resonance circuit coming to the parallel resonance circuit it is also called as rejector circuit because the minimum current is observed at resonance and it rejects that particular set of frequencies okay so that's why it is called as a rejector circuit basically it is used in the rf amplifiers because of its higher impedance at resonance we know that in parallel resonance circuit the impedance becomes maximum at resonance impedance of the circuit becomes maximum at resonance therefore if you want the high impedance circuit then we will use this parallel resonance circuit so uh, the good example of the application of parallel resonance circuit is in amplifiers okay in amplifiers parallel resonance circuit is used as a load because for a particular frequency its impedance becomes maximum in order to get good amplified signal the output load okay the load of the output circuit or resistance of the output circuit should be higher then you can get good amplified signal if you use the parallel resonance circuit you can tune accordingly to get the high impedance for a particular frequency okay because it responds to the frequency of the signal for a particular frequency you can get the highest impedance higher impedance okay 
So that can be used as a load. If you want to amplify the particular range of frequency, then you use the parallel resonant circuit as a output circuit, okay, which gives higher impedance for particular range of frequencies. That is how you can use this parallel resonant circuit in case of radio frequency amplifiers. Okay. So RF amplifier means radio frequency amplifiers. Okay. The signal is having the radio frequency range. Then you can use this parallel resonant circuit to get good amplified signal. You can use it as a load in the output circuit. So these are the outline of the comparison between the series resonant circuit and parallel resonant circuit.